Hi guys, today we're going to make shortbread. Uh, so we have a bag secret. Three parts uh, flour, two parts butter, one part sugar. Yes, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with 300 grams of flour. So pour it in. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Mm, 299. Great. 89? 299. That'll do. Great. 200 grams of flour. Or butter, sorry. All of that. Yeah, that's 200 grams. Five eighteen, close. There's a actually a wee bit of extra butter in there that I've added on just to knock it over. I think it's about an extra twenty five grams. Right, we now need a hundred grams of 100. castor sugar. Castor sugar. So five nineteen five eighteen plus a hundred is six eighteen. Yep. Slow, slow, slow. Oh, 617, that'll do. Perfect. Oh, geez. Right, now take your bowl off. And now you have to squish it all with your hands until you make like a dough. <laughs> this is going to take a while, so we'll come back to it. Right, so are we done? Yes, and now we're going to roll it into a big... Cool. Yeah, I so we've made it into the consistency of like plasticine. And now we're going to roll it in the big way. Sauce. Some people like to put it out flat and use a rolling pin. Some people like to cut it into squares. We're going to roll it into a sausage chip. And then we're just going to slice it. Yeah. So it's a nice round cookie, cookie stain. So take it out of the bowl. Yep, put it on the counter. Put it on there, yeah. Give me your hands. Show me your hands. So it doesn't stick too much. Now roll it. Roll it like a sausage. Yep. No, no, not flatten it down. I just want you to roll it. That's it. Keep rolling. Not too much pressure. Not too... No, no, look, look, look. Here, you grab that. Look, see that? Okay. Not, not too thin. In fact, that's probably enough. Yeah, that's enough. So what we need to do is just shape it a wee bit. So it's the same thickness the way the whole way down. And then we're going to wrap it in cling film and put it on the fridge. And we're going to come back to it. Well, we're actually going to have dinner. But it only it needs about 20 minutes in the fridge. So it hardens up again. And then we're going to slice it into circles. We got the cling film is over here. So Yeah, because we're using a big roll, we're actually going to use the bigger cling film. The bigger cling film. The bigger cling film. Yes, the gigantic cling film. Right, we'll come back to them when we're finished. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have the oven. It's preheated to 170 degrees. We've now taken our dough out of the fridge. And what are we going to do now? We are going to cut the dough. But first, you need to put your knuckles in. Yeah. Thumb you need to do a crab. Mm -hmm. and your thumb behind. Yeah, and that's it. And cut right down. That's it. Separate. Next one. The dough might be overdone, but... Yeah, from behind. And cut. So, we're going to put the probably a wee design, like, put the fork in. Yeah. One, like, over there. Mm. Well, shortbread always has it. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Quicker, quicker. Mm -hmm. It's not a science. That's it. So, use the palm of my hand, flatten them down. It's no bigger than your wee finger. Show me your wee finger. Mm -hmm. mm, it's just the same thickness. Mm -hmm. And they're going to go in the oven 170 degrees for 15 minutes. Okay. Now here's the secret. Yeah, the ovens are different. So once the outside, because it's thinner, once it starts to get brown, brown. once these parts start to get a darker brown, take it out of the oven. Because even the inside, when you take it out of the oven, even the inside, it's still going to be soft. 
So when you take it out of the oven, you leave them for 10 minutes, at least 10 minutes, you want them to cool down completely. And then once they've cooled down completely, the, the, the insides will actually harden up and crisp in like a biscuit. That's cool. Alright, stick them in the oven. Mm -hmm. Which way? Down to the bottom? Yeah, bottom. Oh, Stick them in the top tray. Mm -hmm. Try not to drop them. <laughs> Are you going to have to make them again? Right. We'll come back in 15 minutes. Now this is what? Well, Careful, the heat comes out when you open the door. Stand back a minute. So I actually had to keep them in for an extra three, three and a half minutes. Because I had them on the top shelf to start with. So take them out. Careful. Ooh, nice. So the top of them are still slightly soft, okay. but you can feel them crispy. They are roasting. Be careful. Feel a wee bit soft. Aye. Uh, just a tiny bit soft, but they're still roasted. I'm and one, they'll cool down now. And once they cool down, they'll turn into a biscuit, and they'll not be soft anymore. They'll be like a harder biscuit. I had a wee bit of extra butter on it, so it's a wee bit later we're talking about and then after can i eat it yeah 10 15 minutes to cool Jeez, down I just want you need to let them cool down the sugar's still cooking in them 